What's up guys and welcome back to another Skyrim mod video. In this one today we're looking at 6 new upcoming mods for consoles, meaning they are out already on PC and are still to be ported over to the console version. If you like Fallout 4 I have a similar mod video out for that today as well so check that out if you haven't already done so. I did say I was planning to switch to upcoming mods and weekly mods but most of you said you prefer a mixture of both upcoming and brand new mods instead. So instead of like a brand new mods every day I will do an upcoming mods one and then the brand new mods one the next day. Anyway guys let's jump into the first mod it's called No Kill Moves, No Kill Cams and No Kill Bites. This mod disables melee finishing moves, ranged magic, slow motion kills and dragon bite and throw attacks and the goal is to have more intense fights with less cheap deaths. The only kill cam still enabled is the view that shows when you're already dead, so it's by no means a big mod but if you want to have more realistic and less cinematic encounters with Skyrim then that is what this mod will do for you in game. Our next upcoming mod is called Warded Blocking and is a mod designed for spell swords and battle mages and is ported from Old Rim. This is a small spell mod and adds 4 tiers of toggle powers that allow the user to cast 4 different levels of ward by just blocking with their equipped weapon or shield. Each spell costs varying amounts of magicka based on the restoration perks that the user has obtained. And so with the mod, spells can now be obtained at a shrine next to your imbued weapon shrine. All spells have the same visual effect when casting now. All spells have proper and consistent descriptions, so that's kind of a bug fix. Info effect added with each display while not blocking. Magic use has been overhauled, the mechanics are kind of the same while fixing the stacking bug and added 6 steps instead of 5. Magicka use is now more balanced, taking normal wards into account. The half magicka effect on perks is taken into account now as well. The magicka use generally drops with higher perks while having it on their specific perks, so novice, adept, expert and master. Finally you get consistent naming all the effects and spells. So a nice new way to cast wards in game and protect yourself more as a magic user. Next up we have unlock spells, staffs and scrolls. An added to the leveled list, so all merchants and loot, is the spell tomb and adept spell plus a staff and scroll of arcane lock picking, which opens locks based on your alteration skill. It's just a simple new way to pick locks in Skyrim other than being a thief so will be much more handy if you are a mage character. The next mod is called Breeze Home Garden, another simple mod that adds in a whole bunch of plants to Breeze Home. Added planters to Breeze Home in Whiterun that can be interacted with in the way that you can with any hearthfire style planter. If you upgrade the kitchen it unlocks two planters outside, living room and the bedroom upgrades unlock one planter in each of the home's respective rooms in Breeze Home. So if you wanted more plants in Breeze Home then you could try out that mod. Our next mod is called the Oblivion Main Menu and New Music and the mod changes your main menu background screen and music in the game and the background picture is a Bethesda concept art and so is copyrighted by them, it wasn't made by the mod author, but the new Oblivion music is an original piece by someone called Scott Buckley and it's inspired by Oblivion and is fair use under the Creative Commons license. So the mod includes a 60 second version of the full score of that for your main menu and so now you can have an Oblivion inspired main menu if you want to. Our final mod guys is called La Bella Magia and this is a lore friendly magic gameplay overhaul and here is all the changes that the mod will make to magic across Skyrim. Four new quests tied to the College of Winterhold. Also during the quest first lesson, you can jump the boarding tour of the college by talking to Mirabelle. All spell books are craftable at the Arcane Engraver now, and they're a good way for you to make money if you're a spellcaster. Scroll overhaul. The mod implements all scrolls possible that were missing from the game, and since they were not in use, they've been enhanced to make them much better at higher levels. Each scroll is crafted at the Arcane Engraver, and you will need one quill, one ink, one roll of paper, plus a potion of magicka based on the power of the spell. Two new enchanting devices, the Arcane Engraver and the Arcane Imbuer, both giving balance XP now. 28 new spells. Every dragon cult mask hides one and something will happen when you find them all. You can now cast sneak attack spells. With the mod you can now side with the divines and still be as powerful as if you sided with the daedra. You can create vanilla spell tombs and new ones as well now in game and you can imbue them with the new power which you will get as a final reward for the College of Winterhold storyline. There are two new staff enchanters, one in the Hall of Appearance and one in the Archmage's quarters, a new stave specialist is also added. Two new machines have been added to the college to create magical spiders, implemented three types of magical spider removed from the original game and they've been added back in, and they are the pack mule spider, glowing spider and the oil spider. Atronach Forge will give you conjuration XP as well now, and finally six arcane engravers located by magicians of the core of the Jarl Markarth, Solitude, Rift and Whiterun Windhelm and the Academy. That is just some of the changes that come with the game with this mod, and to be honest I can't wait to try this one out fully on console. So some interesting and awesome mods right there guys, all five are worth checking out once they are released. I have plenty more scattered mod videos planned as well so make sure you're subscribed to see similar content and have notifications enabled. The little bell thing next is the subscribe button to get notified every time there is an upload. If you enjoyed this video and want to
want to support the channel, hit the like button down below, it would be much appreciated, and click any of the links on screen for more similar style videos as this one. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.